the Azimio Lamoa won Kenya Alliance flag bearer was this morning with his running mate, Martha Karua at Windsor Hotel in Nairobi for a meeting that had been called by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. The Deputy President of Kenya, William Ruto, who is also the leader of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance arrived late for the meeting which had been called by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Chairman Wafula Chebukati. The two leaders, met at the door of the hotel as Deputy President William Ruto was coming in and former Prime Minister Ayla Odinga and his entourage were going out. The reports show that the two leaders met and shook hands at the gate this morning before each of them went their separate ways. The handshake between the two leaders has been talked about by many Kenyans who have hailed it as a step in the right direction as far as the Kenyan politics in the country is concerned. Deputy President William Ruto was accompanied by Kathio Kindiki who is the chief agent of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and Senator of the Rakanithi County. Leaving a meeting, I have no time even. Yes, you see, I'm going. So, I've left my people behind, so we continue with the, the discussion. But there are some points where you, ra you are raising your, question, your hand with regards to the first question about the, the register. register and what will be used. Are you comfortable with what they have told us? Yeah, they, of course, they've said that the matter is in court. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the meantime, they will actually go with the manual. The manual will be there, there's a backup uh, as an order by the court. So to me, that is a Good enough. Is this equivalent to the black book that Akrigla spoke about the last time? Uh, it's not really the black book. It's really just you know the manual register that used to be used. <laughs> the only thing we are actually trying to ask is that uh, yes, we do electronic uh, identification through the biometrics, mm -hmm. but there should also be that manual register which is closed so that you can also counter check. Uh, in order to know how many people actually voted at that polling station. That's why we are insisting on having the manual register also used as a backup. But they have still insisted that it will be the last resort in whatever case. No, no, no. We will be saying either that or, 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 or never. We, we will not accept anything different for that. Are you confident this time with the IEBC? No. This discussion is what is going to yield confidence. You know, um, if they, they deal with the issues of concern to us, yes, then we will say yes. But, but so far, uh, I cannot say. So, Mr. Odinga, just to get you right, you're saying that if they do not have the manual register as one of the primary usage documents, then you will not accept it? No, 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 no. Get me right. The manual register is not the, the, the main primary register. You've got electronic voter identification. Yes, the the, the, the chem skates. So people are going to be uh, identified through their biometrics, their fingerprints or the irises and so on. But that may fail. So they are saying that if that fails, like happened last time, last elections, then they should revert to the uh, manual register and check if your name is in that register. If that your name is in that register, that should be good enough to allow you to vote. So there are concerns about uh, striking out and somebody else coming to vote again are not valid? No, no, that's not valid. You see, once somebody's name has been struck off, it means that, he, he, you know, he puts all these ten fingers and they were not identified. So, or, meaning that his name was not in the electronic register.